Julia Alvarez Julia Alvarez is a poet and novelist who is known for novels such as How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents and In the Time of the Butterflies. Who is Julia Alvarez? Julia Alvarez is a Dominican-American poet, author, and essayist. The theme of being caught between two cultures can be found throughout Alvarez's work. She explored this in her first novel, How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents, 1991. Her reading audience continued to grow with her second novel, In the Time of Butterflies, published in 1994. Several more acclaimed works of fiction have followed. Early Life and Education Born on March 27, 1950, in New York City, Julia Alvarez was raised in the Dominican Republic, but had to leave the country when she was 10 years old, her family had supported an unsuccessful attempt to overthrow dictator Rafael Trujillo, and then fled to Brooklyn, New York. Struggling at first to adapt to her new home, Alvarez graduated from Middlebury College in 1971 and went on to earn a master's degree from Syracuse University in 1975. Commercial Success The theme of being caught between two cultures can be found throughout Alvarez's poetry and fiction work. She explored this cultural divide in her first novel, How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents, published in 1991, which garnered critical and commercial success. Her reading audience continued to grow with her second novel, In the Time of Butterflies, published in 1994. Several more works of fiction have followed, including Saving the World, 2006, earning Alvarez more praise and fans worldwide. A versatile artist, Alvarez has created books for children, including The Secret Footprints, 2000, and Tia Lola Came to Visit Stay, 2001, and a novel for young adults, Before We Were Free, 2002. She also writes essays and poetry. Her latest volume of poetry, The Woman I Kept to Myself, was published in 2004. Personal Life and Other Roles Married to Bill Eichner since 1989, Alvarez lives in Vermont. In recent years, she has served as a writer-in-residence at Middlebury College.